Happy Thursday, Memorial. As the COVID-19 virus continues to hijack normalcy in our lives, I have found myself pondering my relationships with friends and family and realizing how important interactions are to maintaining those close relationships. And I'm wondering if you too have come to the realization of how important experiencing life together is, as well as how important conversations, both the mundane and the deep are to all of us. We long for intimacy with those we care about. Those are moments of connection that validate the importance we each have to the other. And I've been marveling at the innovative and creative approaches people are taking to sustain these human connections. Parking lot ballet recitals, drive-by birthday parties, Zoom meetings, and so many other means by which we sustain our connections with each other. They all tell me how much we need each other and how people can find the ways and means to get and stay connected no matter the challenge. Through all of this though, I've come to realize something else. I've come to realize that COVID-19 has zero power, let me say that again, COVID-19 has zero power over how we get and stay connected intimately to God. I think it's one of those silver linings for me in this time of physical, human, physical interaction deprivation. And it's, it's that I'm spending more time with my Savior. That's a pretty good silver lining, if you ask me. And Jesus makes it easy. And did you know, it's that God intimacy connection that is most important for fostering quality human intimacy connections. So, as a once upon a time cheerleader, I'm cheerleading today for the ways and means at our disposal for deepening our intimacy with God and sharing with you what works for me in the hopes that you too will revisit some of these spiritual practices that will lead to a closer relationship with the God who loves you, or maybe begin one of them if you don't already. One such practice for me is really listening to God through creation, appreciating nature through walks, sitting on a bench in Egan's Creek or by the riverside or at the beach. All of these calm me. They restore my peace. And God reminds me that the rhythms of life are one of the ways God tells us of how enduring and unchanging God's loving nature really is. I hum to myself, Jesus is the rock and he rolls my blues away, bop, bop. Baba Shabbat. Another practice I have is just talking to God. Some people call that prayer. I just call it talking to God. I complain. I cry. I ask questions. I just say what's on my mind. And often in the process, the Holy Spirit reminds me of my many blessings. And when that happens, I express my gratitude to God. For indeed, I am blessed. We all are. So, these are these are just two spiritual practices. There are so many more, but I'm going to stop right here with those two in hopes that you'll try them if you don't already or engage in them again if you have if you've ever, if you've forgotten them or abandoned them. And in the midst of all of this, let me just say, never forget that God is with you even if it doesn't feel like God is with you at the moment. I am wishing you blessings for a wonderful rest of your Thursday.